Hey, this is Lisa from FitLab, and welcome to our detailed product review of Fitlit Sense. You will find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check user reviews and the latest prices. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know my final verdict on whether this smartwatch is worth buying or not. Things you should know before purchasing Fitbit Sense. So, what makes this Fitbit Sense smartwatch outstanding? The integrated set of high quality fitness tracking features. Though there are several fitness tracking watches for every lifestyle and activity, the Fitbit Sense smartwatch sums up all these features, taking this tracker watch to a different level. This is the core reason I bought this watch a year ago. It does track not only my heart rate, but also tracks my physical activities and sleeping patterns. I get all features I need in a smartwatch in the Fitbit Sense. Fitbit released a series of watches before the Fitbit Sense smartwatch. The first watch released by this company was in 2009, and it used an internal motion detector to track the calories burned and the wearer's movement. Later on, it released a Bluetooth-enabled watch, the Fitbit Flex. I love the Fitbit Sense smartwatch because it is a better version of the watches released before. Another feature that made me get this watch is that it tracks my physical workouts and mental well-being. It makes me understand my mind and body better and gives me recommendations on my mental and physical health. Additionally, I love how this fitness watch is easy to use and has a bright display that allows you to see details clearly, even in direct sunlight. It is also waterproof, meaning I can go swimming classes with it. However, the major downside that came with this watch is that many tools are premium. Therefore, you have to buy them to use them. This makes it expensive to use. When I first signed up for the Fitbit Premium, I received a six-month free trial, which allowed me to use features like advanced sleep metrics, video workouts, wellness reports, and guided programs. Here are the reasons I think you should buy Fitbit Sense and why I think you shouldn't. Reasons to buy. High-end design. Fitbit Sense smartwatch is made of stainless steel and aluminum case, meaning it is durable. I also discovered that most of the materials used to make this watch are similar to that of the Fitbit Versa 3. However, with the Fitbit Sense, the materials are further refined and more sensors are added to the watch. Its AMOLED display screen is high-end and you can read this watch in direct sunlight. I also discovered that its functionality could be customized, allowing you access to several features in one device. Therefore, get the Fitbit Sense if you want a watch with a luxury feel and high-end features. Has several connectivity features. Most smartwatches only come with GPS as a connectivity technology. However, I love this watch as it connects to Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. However, you cannot play offline audio on this watch if you are not on premium. Several connectivity technologies that come with this watch are key selling points. Electrocardiogram, ECG. My most exciting feature of this electrocardiogram is that it monitors the heart rate and records its rhythm. Besides the heart rate, this watch also comes with a monitor to track stress levels and calculates electrodermal and heart rate data to see your body's response. Reasons not to buy. Expensive. I found the price of this smartwatch to be entirely on the higher end compared to its competitors. Therefore, it is not friendly for someone with a limited budget. However, if it is within your limits, get it, as it is worth all your coins. Most tools are available on premium. Though the Fitbit smartwatch has high quality tracking features for fitness and mental well-being, most features can only be accessed at a premium fee. This makes this watch quite expensive to maintain. However, with the premium features, you will get a range of information that will, without a doubt, improve your general well-being. How does Fitbit Sense compare to other alternatives in the market in terms of specification? Connectivity. Fitbit Sense has more connectivity technologies compared to its competitors. Display. Fitbit Sense and Garmin Venue SQ use AMOLED screens, while Hiyo uses HD full-touch screens. Battery. Fitbit Sense uses a lithium polymer battery, while its competitors use lithium-ion. Weight. 
Fitbit Sense is lighter than its competitors. Verdict. So, should you buy Fitbit Sense? Yes. I got this watch because it helped track my fitness and mental well-being. Therefore, if you want a watch that incorporates several features in one device, consider getting this watch. However, I wish that many tools be free, as most only work when you are on the premium. Therefore, if you are considering purchasing it, keep this in mind. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know what content you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.